pasta, Swiss cheese, scallions, and mushrooms. Okay, so we got scallions. Yeah. Alright, so we got scallions. I guess we're gonna wash these off some. We got mushrooms, see the mushrooms. So we'll go ahead and put some water on them. Because we got spaghetti we need to cook, cheese we need to cut up, onions we need to chop up, and mushrooms. And the only other ingredient is butter. Wanna get the butter? Thank you. Butter. Two boxes of mushrooms from Walmart. I think I got way mm -hmm. too many. So we'll just put probably one box. I don't know. I was trying to make a huge dish. Wait, I think I turned around. Onion, scallion. Onion, scallion. There we go. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and throw all these mushrooms in. Might as well. Nothing else to do with them. There's two packs of mushrooms. A lot of mushrooms. But they don't shrink down quite a bit. What's that sauce that you make for this? It's no sauce, it's just butter. Oh, it is? That's your sauce right there, butter. <coughs> Something's burning. Yeah, once these cook, shrink up, and are about done, then we'll throw the scallions in. Okay, alright, so let's chop up these uh, onions. Bulb onions. Look at those bulbs on them. You can put those in the light bulb, and they work. Just you know, back up some so you get them in the shop too. Do you want to chop them? I guess. You want me to. Let me chop this part first. Typically you don't put these types of onions in there. It's the same thing. Just are those on are we gonna use those? Yeah. We're we gonna use the onions? I mean, it's more like a regular onion. I don't see why it would hurt. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't put them in there. They often smell awfully funny. Okay, you want to chop, chop some of Sure, I'll chop some. Good and Dad, you better get that. It's really smoking over here. Yeah, our thing is boiling. God. Make sure you're getting these. Yeah, smoke. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. frame. So you're getting the pot, what I'm doing, and my face and stuff. And just... God, how much spaghetti is that? I don't know. I wanted to bet, make a big thing, but I don't know. Two pounds, that's an awful lot. God, look at that. That's like straws. It's kind of early to be cooking this, really. But we'll just go ahead and cook it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this thick part of these onions in here. I like the thick parts if you're going to use onions. Yeah, because I want those cooked a little bit more. Where the green part, you want left more like chives, more raw, not too overcooked. Scallions. It's a little thinner, Junior. A lot thinner. They're not scallions. Yeah, I just. Face it, scallions. Try to get them nice and thin, man. Right. See how thin I got the other ones? But be careful now at the end that you don't chop your fingers. <clears throat> nice job. Maybe try to chop these up a little bit more where he first started. Crazy. Yep, pasta cooking, mushrooms. And this is a big dish to feed, I don't know. They easily do for days, and uh, it's only like probably 30 bucks, less than 30 bucks, probably like 20, 25 dollars for all the ingredients. Now, this cheese is gonna have to be cut up and shredded. Yeah. All right, so our noodles are done. What was that? So we just strain these and set them aside. Where are you gonna put them? And Get this, Junior. Over oh, here. Oh. Steam it. That, that's something we failed. Tom? Junior, hello. Oh. Just back up some and get me in there. Let me just focus on the. There you go. Thank you. As long as you're back there, you're getting me and what I'm doing. Alright, these are definitely cooked down enough. You can hear them. Sizzling. All, all the liquid's gone. So now we can throw these scallions in there. Even slices, it's probably a lot less work, but we got a block. We're on a budget. We got a box. Yep, and this is our first try. Didn't work out, so Dad's gonna have to cut it. Got low blood sugar because you're starving.
That's a lot of work right there. It's just for that. That's nothing. Now. Mm. I'm going to have to sit down. One thing you can always do is add more butter. Mm. Delicious. Hopefully in the future they'll make a they'll make a drone. I mean a um, a handy bot that can do some um, YouTube videos for you that films for you. Did you hear me? Yeah. So this is annoying. It hurts my hands. Gosh, that thing is hot. Still? Yeah. This thing pot is so hot. Cooking. You're done? Let your mom take over. Oh God. <laughs> it's focusing on your fallout guy, too. Mom can't take over. <laughs> you don't have to cut that one. Oh, let me cut it for you. Can I cut it? Can yeah. I cut it? That, please. Yeah. I want to break from my hand. Can I cut it now? Yeah. Here. You want to cut these? Like thin slices like that. Oh, good. I don't know what the word is. I'm so tired. That's too thin. No, it's fine. So, you need your chopped up cheese or shredded cheese, you mix in with the noodles, and then you need the slices or something to go on top. Butter. Look at that butter. Yeah, you don't need to zoom in. I, I didn't even zoom in. Right, mix that butter around and around. Get it nice and toasty up in that. Yeah, we take noodles. Ooh. We have way too many. I don't know. I really have no idea. Yeah. We'll just throw them in there. <coughs> All right. And cheese. Agreed. Any kind of cheese, just make sure it's um, not any kind. It's Swiss cheese. Yeah, Swiss cheese, but any kind of like form of it. You can get any kind of form. Just make sure it's kind of tiny. Kind of what it looks like. This is the hard part. Thank you. It is. Yeah. And then. I think we got way too much of this. What are you doing? Sit down. My arm hurts. Your mushrooms. Onions. You have better filming. Get your head I and the your, uh, preview it. Yeah, people want to see. Now this doesn't really have to melt all the way in here, but you get it mixed up good. Mm -hmm. Smell that smell. It smells delicious. Yep. And you cook it at your house, if I hope you do. As we waste all this time making you a video. We hope you do. It's great leftovers. Yes. More cheese, more cheese, more, 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 more cheese. Watch Dad slice that cheese. Chop, chop, chop. I'm not supposed to be the cameraman. You are, Mister. That's the cheese. Next time, let your mom do it. No, I like cameraman. That's why I want them to make a robot that does stuff for you. See? It, it'll melt Way quicker if you chop it smaller. Like so. Okay. And you throw that, throw that on in there. You just gotta kinda look at it and figure it out. Delicious goodness.
And one thing you can't go wrong with is probably more butter. There's more butter. Look at that butter. And mushrooms. <laughs> well, we got tons of those. Yeah, Mom, we got tons of mushrooms. Don't worry. Alright, let's just go ahead and throw this all in here. We'll see how it turns out. It's really good. We got a lot of good butter, yummy, mushroomy flavor stuff in here. We didn't put that much onion in it. Did you hear me? No. Yeah, I heard you. We didn't put much butter, I mean onion in it. And the cheese is starting to melt. We got a nasty cousin. So, if this turns out good, then we'll know. Two, two packs of mushrooms, all right? Two blocks of Walmart Swiss cheese. About a pound and a quarter of spaghetti. And... Lots of butter. A pack of one, uh, whatever, bunch of scallions and one bunch of bowl of onions. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And lots and lots of cheese. Yeah, two blocks. Okay. What about the dish? Alright, so the next thing is to take this. It's probably good enough. This thing is hot. And get you a, a dish like this. Fat dish, you need it, you need it fat. See? Fat. Actually, the next part is get your junk out of the oven. That's a junk. Turn the oven on about, I don't know, 350 or so. See how nice that's getting down there where it's getting all nice and melted. Mm -hmm. That's a big dish. Look at all that cheese. Look at all that it cheese. Barely fits off. in here. Good grief. Well, I think we fixed too much. Who cares? Good leftovers. For tomorrow and the next day and the next day. That's when it gets good and all the flavors start to mix together. This is the important part. Put a lot of cheese on that hot. You want it nice and gooey. And then you throw it in the oven. Wait, mom wants to see it. Yeah, and show you and your mom eating it. Watch, um, you can put oven on. So yeah, so yeah, we probably about a pound. We still had these many noodles left. There's the pre-baked finished product. All right, so yeah, we set the oven at 350. We're just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. I have no idea how long it takes. You want it to be all melted, and bubbly, and everything. So you know. Fifteen minutes in. It's cooking good. Put it for another fifteen. So that's another fifteen minutes. It's been in there for thirty minutes now. It's looking pretty good. Although I might just turn the broiler on just to get it browned a little bit more on the top. I think it'll be done. It's done now. Oh yeah.
I got you. Okay. Okay. Here, get up there right now. Make sure where I'm cutting it at. See how this looks. <coughs> That's a big scoop. They're not going to come out. Not cocked to one side or the other side. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a meal. This is a meal, not a side dish, right? Yeah. <coughs> All right. How's it look? Pretty good. And then you put soy sauce on it. I don't know where it came from. How did you, did you cut his? Yeah, you just use it with me. Like that. How's it look? It looks really, really good. You think people will believe it's actually a good dish worth making? They should. Huh? They should. <coughs> oh gosh, really? That's how scrumdillium just it is. How am I gonna put that on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube? People post pictures of their fancy food on Instagram. How's it look? Looks really good. Okay. There, now you can take a picture of me with it. Is it good? You're not feeling good? Terry? How is it? It's good. Really good. So, yep, here it is. The finished uh, noodles and cheese. Mac and cheese. Swiss mac and cheese with mushrooms and onions and the key is you definitely gotta put soy sauce on there I recommend a low sodium because it's less salty and you still get the flavor but I don't know usually after I cook this stuff it never tastes good to me then and it's great for leftovers but usually it's better the next day it seems like the ratio turned out pretty good, like cheese to mushrooms and onions and stuff. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. The end.